when that cold front came through earlier this evening, as Julie mentioned, it brought with it some severe weather. Yeah, the winds were strong enough to do some major damage in one Pinellas County community. Mm -hmm. Eight on your signs. Olivia Steen is live in Largo tonight. Olivia. Yeah, so what you see behind me is just a portion of the damage here at Ranchero Village on Elmerton Road. These large metal slabs actually made up a roof that was on a house right across the street. It blew off in the midst of those storms. Now, the woman who lives in the house with the roof on top of it tells me she was just glad she wasn't home when it happened. Night before Christmas? No, this is not a... A joyous Christmas, especially after this year. Fiona O'Rourke did not expect a surprise like this on Christmas Eve. We were at a Christmas party at my friend's, and my neighbor called and said that um, we should get home, that there was a roof in my backyard. Covering the entire backside of her home, trapping in her boyfriend's truck. I just, I have no words to say because I, I mean, look at my house. She says, thankfully, nothing inside appears to be damaged. It's just the outside that needs to be cleaned up. Let's get this stuff off my house. <laughs> Let's just get this off my house so we can get back to normal. Fiona isn't the only one in Ranchero Village spending the holiday planning repairs. The canopy over their mailboxes destroyed. And another house right around the corner. The roof of the lanai came off. The roof, which was where your carport is, that came out with the post. The shed roof came off, the sides of the shed, the washer and dryer is in there, and that's completely covered with everything you can imagine. And Perry Robichaud says he watched it all happen Thursday evening. Uh, I was outside here with a friend smoking a cigarette right here when the wind came straight through and took everything right off and put it over there. What did it sound like? Uh, it was a little loud for about maybe 30 seconds, and it, it was over. He's just glad they both made it through the storm alive. All right, that was Olivia Steen reporting. Don't forget, you can track the storms and get the very latest forecast with our free WFLA app.